Greetings everyone and welcome to our Let's Play in Stellaris featuring the uh, game the empire that I have made the United Nations of Seoul and I'm the host for now just call me furry archivist so recently um, this is the state of the galaxy we're currently at war with the Mitfell Empire which is this one, the one that is on the red, that is the state of uh, the galaxy right now. We're currently at war with them and we plan to conquer this small area here just to eliminate the threat of Midfell because they've been always at rivals and at war with each other for, for uh, since the early days of the United Nations of Seoul. Uh, during the war, we also occupied a single nation here. <coughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't see right now. Uh, we also plan to take this one as our vassal. So this is the state of the galaxy right now. We can see that the Khan is, uh, you know, uh, I've already broken up with several other uh, successor states with the death of the great Khan Mithri. And uh, the United States of Seoul have already exp expanded as far as the Galactic North here. Uh, all the way on the borders of the Irasu. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, uh, let me, uh, um, you know, zoom on that. The Irasu Galactic Commonality, their borders is now on Yidra. And on the northern border, on the southern border, their borders is as far as the uh, stellar nations of, stellar nation of Rikikiti, which is basically a buffer state that was uh, created along with the Ferbanite Death Lords uh, uh, I mean sorry, Ferbanite, uh, Sovereign State of Ferbanite Those, these are the two vassal states and buffer states at the same time to prevent uh, I mean to be a buffer against the, Fer the fanatic two fanatic purifier nations down south the Ferbanite Death Lords and the Prikikiti and at the moment I've uh, already upgraded the uh, most recent patch in Stellaris the Orion patch and honestly, at first, I was upset uh, when I up, uh, updated it because my gameplay was uh, nearly, <coughs> almost nearly, uh, what could you say, is incompatible. Because um, um, I'm, I don't know, you know, I clicked on a planet back then, like this one. Uh, just give me a moment here. And the armies here, oh. Yeah, just like what I'm saying. Um, it's currently uh, I'm okay. Let me get me back with that. Uh, I'm just gonna reset my uh, gameplay for now. Um, just give me a moment. Uh, this is not your good. Good. It's currently, as you can see here. Um, I'm not sure if it's currently being corrupted or so. So just give me a moment here. I. Uh, uh, I'll see if uh, I could, uh, you know, uh, remedy the situation. Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. Uh, I hope that solves the problem in the, uh, you know, the glitch part. So, uh, yeah, I just restarted my uh, computer. So, uh, here's the thing. Um, okay, just give me a second here. I was just, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, going to make some uh, uh, files to be deleted here. Okay, anyway, uh, there we go. So everything is uh, doing good right now. So, uh, yeah, I was trying to uh, solve the glitch that was uh, happening right now. Um, so anyway, let's continue on our gameplay here. So currently, um, we're, uh, this, we're battling this uh, void spawn right now. Uh, we'll just, uh, yeah, take at least a uh, 30 second, uh, you know. Oh, great. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, great. Um, I guess that's the problem here. Alright, we'll, we'll do that for a second here. Right now, uh, we're gonna go for a close-up with this one, a close-up footage. So at least 30 seconds will do. So yeah, here we go. Oh, 
So yeah, that should be fine. Uh, 30 seconds. So currently, our uh, navy there is chasing this void spot. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, okay, we'll do that after 30 seconds. Okay, just 10 more seconds. Okay, uh, a little more. Engaging enemy station. Okay, there we go. That should do the trick. Uh, we're going to retreat for now. Uh, we're not in the position to, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, uh, engage that. Uh, we got a new research, uh, pack here. Oh, we got a frigate. I think we could use a frigate. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, of course, the new Orion patch says that there was a frigate class. Uh, basically, some sort of bomber thing. Um, also, one more thing. This is, this is now the Orion patch. I have to... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, you know, make some few changes here. Uh, Sparrowhawk. We got now ship rolls. Um, this one will be the artillery. And then save. Okay, so we're gonna have a mixed fleet here. Um, we're also creating a new class of uh, corvettes. Uh, it should be name of an animal. But that. Oh yeah, tomcat. Yeah, I like cats anyway. So yeah, uh, that should uh, do the trick. So we got four, and then we got a frigate. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, and also, uh, we're going to, uh, I don't know, uh, create, uh, modify this template, um, we're gonna make this one, uh, propaganda machines, and, uh, population assembly cost will be, uh, 2.0, um, high bandwidth. Housing, um, hmm. well, but upkeep. No, we're not gonna go. Um, we go for population cost, yeah. Yeah, they're more costly when they, uh, and uh, they have domestic protocols, so propaganda machine, so that's okay. Oh, got some extra trade here. And mass produced, of course. We want this, and it's not gonna be named. Uh, how about um, yeah, Ultra Robots? That'll be a nice name because they're um, kind of upgraded, like Robo or something. So yeah, so these are Robots 2.0 and updated. Um, so we got. Uh, a mass produced uh, propaganda machines and uh, domestic protocols. They are very, very good at that. New sit rep. Okay, we search this little uh, thing. And as a bonus, uh, we're going to set its right so that we could uh, put on colonization allowed because there are some planets or areas in space that uh, humanity has a hard time colonizing. So we fully utilize these props as a form of uh, you know colonization efforts. <laughs> so okay uh one more thing um okay we're just gonna put our strongest fleet to um occupy the systems up here uh bring along with our uh our uh, army while the remaining two here we probably have to retake several systems here more like uh, just cleaning up some stuff for now, the midfield isn't bulging uh, on the on the. It's not surrendering or at least uh, selling a piece. So uh, that's okay if they uh, they don't want to negotiate on that. Unfortunately, we can't uh, put our forces or the U UNS forces in the Sidran uh, manifold space because uh, it's usually the borders are locked out by the Fervanite Death Lords. And uh, the Jinogen uh, interstellar state here. Oh, there's two of them. 
Okay, I have no idea. There were two of them. Must have been a civil war with those guys. So, yeah. So, uh, what else? Um... Yeah, I think that's all for now. Uh, we're just gonna set this one on slow. Um... We've already got a video on the void spawn, so, uh... Oh yeah, I also want to take a video on this one. The Automated Dreadnought. Uh, since we already got a full uh, scare, so at least a 30 second video will do. Wait, oh. Okay, so this is the order. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, there we go. That's a nice video footage if we're going to do that. So at least I need a 30 Rocket second uh, video. Okay, or at least about 20 seconds will be nice. If in case we put on uh, this uh, campaign of mine into a story. So yeah, I guess that should do the trick. Alright, uh, our forces here are currently... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go on slow. And... Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, put this one on uh, YouTube Shorts or something. There we go. Nice gameplay with that. Okay, and they just kind of hug the sun from this one. But uh, okay. Uh, mm hmm. Do 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 So how is the research going? Okay, just one month, and we're uh, finished with this one. Hmm. Oh yeah, one more thing. Yeah. I'll probably uh, order one of my uh, constructor bots here. Our construction ship to, uh, you know, be a little bit busy. I'll just bother them later if I want something constructed. Mm -hmm. So I've already set the time frame to slowest because I have a hard time catching up. My gameplay is very fast right now compared to my previous one. Or I've already set it on the fastest and yet it feels like the time uh, time passes there to be very slow because uh, uh, oh okay what's this guy special project complete um, we have completed my oh yeah we already got the ultra robots uh hand of multitude they sound familiar oh they're the guys uh, we're currently at war with. So they're a little. This high mind is a little bit of a turncoat. They knew that the UNS is winning, so they decided to uh, switch sides. Um, of course, uh, they're a, a mind hive, just like the Preferent Swarm. Not sure how the UNS officials will receive that in lore, uh, because well, they're hive minds. But we'll accept that for now for practicality. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, the ultra robots. Um, we're going to recolonize uh, New Africa. Um, this one is going to be a science world right now um, because, well, it's a tomb world, science world. Okay, that's good. Um, I also got a tomb world up north, if I recall correct. So no humans are going to occupy a tomb world because, well, it's a tomb world. And use a robot with that. So I'm just gonna rename it when a new colony. So we already got uh, <coughs> South America, which is Brazil. Uh, North America is New Canada. We got uh, Southeast Asia, which is Indonesia. Um, <coughs> um, oh, we haven't got uh, uh, an African. Uh, okay, we'll just name New Nigeria. Okay, 
That will be a robot colony. Oh, I forgot to designate it as a science world. Okay, uh, what do we got? Uh, 19th fleet, we'll probably have that. Um, hire, um, let's hire uh, Manfred Brinkman. Okay, it's more, uh, the name is more uh, adequate to the gender. So yeah, uh, we're currently on uh, max on our fleet right now. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, um, I guess that's it. Uh, we'll just continue on our uh, gameplay here. Taking evasive action. Okay, uh, just give me a moment here. Uh, um, among asteroids of TR, uh, TR, uh, TR4463809089, uh, a tree is drifting through through the emptiness of space. An unprecedented and highly unlikely event uh, surrounded by a protected bubble reminiscent of the energy shield. Suddenly we detected some hostile space runners approach. This coincided with some sap leaking from the tree shield. We collected samples. We could have had could we have actually new okay. yeah okay uh so uh um, they're currently attacking our uh yeah um let's go for a close up and then at least so we got a hostile space amoeba so uh okay um we got the nearby uh forces here um okay the tree uh apparently we need this forces against piracy so uh tree okay i guess Taking uh, evasive action yeah well okay we'll be uh ah uh, we're probably stretched thin here um yeah we'll, we'll take care of that in a few moments oh wait uh, we'll just go get this one and this and then go way back so for now the war is science still ship ongoing. reports enemy contact yeah we got some uh big bad amoebas here um Okay, uh, time to get them a little bit close up. We need them for the view. Oh my, that's one big nasty amoebas. So yeah, we need just need them as a... Oh, they're attacking the uh, star base. All right, that's a good, nice. Uh, yep, that's a nice uh, film. We we'll probably have to, uh, you know. Uh, Skywatch has sighted a spaceborne life form. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, yeah, we're still uh, trying to figure that out right now. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, uh, we got some uh, proton launchers, which is good. Um, I'll go for gateway mm -hmm. travel. Uh, we already got a forget, so... Uh, um, I think we go for Star Fortress. Kind of need that little thingy. So we got a new class here now, which is a frigate. Um, I don't know, it could be served as a bomber or some sort. Torpedo. No, um, that will uh, artillery. I think artillery is much more. Uh... Okay, what's the name? Um, name of an animal. Uh, Makahira, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. Um, uh, let me check with Makahira. Yeah, its ship role will be artillery. Um, 
Uh, auto clear design and then auto complete. Uh, kind of having some, uh, I guess some um, the computer must have been some having some problems with the roll. For missiles, shield penetration, torpedo, proton launchers. Yeah, I like this one. Computers can be artillery. Yeah, it's okay. There we go. So we'll probably have an, an artillery units right now. But after the war, we'll just implement that. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think, uh, so my gameplay is uh, still a bit faster, Construction right? complete. Uh, I mean, still running faster. Okay, uh... Oh yeah, science storage vessels. Uh, okay, we got uh, a trade... Uh, so here's the thing, uh, mostly uh, our orbital habitats here will be trade and defense fortress. Defense fortress first, or de uh, defense habitat. And then second, it will be a trade. Um, Yidra Prime. Yeah, we'll just name this one Yidra Station for now. No, no, we'll just name it with a little bit. Uh... Okay, um, let's just go name it an Island Nation. Uh. I'm gonna name it New Caribbean. Uh, oh, New Gibraltar. Gibraltar, which is also a military base even in real life. Which is owned by, uh, I think, the British, if I recall correct. It's Darius from Spain, but it's, o it's owned by British. I mean, in real life. Now it's gonna be G New Gibraltar. <laughs> okay, the versus corporate alliance is now joining the bandwagon, the UNS bandwagon. Um, not sure. Let's check. Well, we do have positive. Uh, Field posi engineers have cleared a blocker. How what was that? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear that clearly. Yeah, everybody's jumping on the new bandwagon here. Um, yeah, for now we got to maintain a patrol because there's a, it's possible that they might... Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, we need to uh, make some, uh, you know, boost on our uh, influence points here. So uh, we're gonna talk with the um, with these bird guys, uh, the artisan troops, so that they can give us with influence. So this what's necessary so that uh, we could, uh, you know, they could give us a freebie, and uh, it's a deal for now. Okay, uh, and two art pieces. Okay, goodbye. Um. We already have a trade league, salary league, creator league, so uh, we have even a mercenary league here. So, uh, do we have some deals with this guy? Yes, we do. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I guess we. it's okay that we have just only a small players here. Here, um, we started out as only eight nations. We are now ending on 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and we're kind of second. Uh, again, a uh, lot most powerful nation in the North uh, Fort Knox Galaxy, uh, besides the Fowler Kingdom. Here, <laughs> our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, uh, I guess planet fall. Oh, yeah, pioneers. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, what's happening here? Um, we got bubbles. Oh. 
Jesus. Uh, guess they're not. Uh, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, I guess the reinforcements not working. Okay. Um, Hey, that's good. Um, so for now, we're gonna save every 30 minutes just a precaution, and our um, our recordings will all be just limited to two hours for a narrative perspective, so that we can pack all the stories on a two-hour, on a 5,000 character uh, YouTube uh, allotted space for the description of the video. I usually pack the narrative in the description of the video, so uh, <coughs> there we go. Oh, we got another Leviathan here. Oh, ancient mining drones. Mm, meh. It's not really that worth it. So, uh, let's check our, uh... Oh, we're still to have, uh... A sadly 27 months just to... Uh, complete the subterfuge here. But, uh, we can wait. That's about roughly two years. I should be be uh, very ready because if I recall correct, I set the uh, crisis mode here to at least uh, 50 years earlier, like uh, 2350. It's not very good if I uh, set that uh, that kind of a uh, timeline. Uh, hmm. um, Space also, club reports enemy contact. Um, we're also gonna set up an upgrade here. Um, I think we could build a new uh, habitat. Oh, we, we lack 53. Uh, okay, we're going to build this one. It's gonna be heavily fortified. Oh my god. Okay, um, yeah, I think we could use some guys here just to shut up this uh, amoeba here. Um, they're really being a pest, so uh, yeah, it will take a year, but uh, I think we could get rid of them. Sorry, uh, if I uh, have my nose out. Uh... Oh, yeah, we can help me to have this shot. I didn't know that, and we could do, do that at a different angle. Okay, that's good. Sorry if I have a runny nose right now, I'm still recovering from my allergies. <coughs> so yeah, um... Uh, we got the irregular fleet here, uh, we we'll probably have to, uh... You know, set the irregular fleet here. All the way up here. Uh, the, uh, unfortunately, the mid the midfell isn't bulging to our demands. Um, which is uh, kind of bummer. For now, we can't reach the side then, or something, this one. Side run manifold. Okay, what's this? The Death Lords. Okay, uh, it seems that they're gonna get uh, some war here. Well, this one seems to be friendly. We could send an envoy, you know, just to maybe, you know, rub shoulders or something. And then, uh, probably, uh, you know, we could build an alliance or federation. They're very much like us. They're egalitarian. They're militarist and they're materialist, but unfortunately in my case, uh, materialist was subjected to xenophobe. Uh, I probably have to suppress the xenophobe faction. Um, yeah, okay, we're suppressing this one. Um, yeah, yeah, we're suppressing this one. So we're gonna lower their numbers until the second highest is... Uh, I think we should go for the third highest. Uh, this is the second. Oh, xenophobe, and now uh, it's this one with um, materialist. Yeah, we probably have to go with the materialist. We just need the xenophobe to be eradicated. 
we need them to at least fall below the 12%. Uh, Okay, um, yeah, so it's almost uh, 30 minutes now, so we're gonna save this uh, just as a precaution. So, uh, yeah, I've already put it on a recovery mode because uh, I'm still unsure what will happen because I'm transiting from the uh, Fornax version to the Orion patch of uh, Stellaris. So, for now, we're just gonna type in UNS episode 07, letter A. There we go, and let's have a break for a few minutes because uh, I need to refresh out and uh, rethink my strategy here. Alright, there we go. We've already uh, saved that on our OBS. So let's continue mm -hmm. on with our gameplay. So uh, everything is doing good now. We've already recovered a lot. And we're still clearing up... Uh, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, how about this? Yeah, good view. How about the underneath? Okay. There we go, that is some very nice footage. Okay, so there's not really uh, anything to go out here but uh, clear this thing. Oh, we got some... Uh, ho ho ho! This is gonna, gonna be a very nice battle. They've already amassed 14,000, so... Uh, well, I mean 1,400 if I'm gonna... No, 14,000. We got some 12,000. Okay, let's uh, get this turkey on the road. Yeah. Well, uh... Okay, we'll just uh, wait for the reinforcements here. And then we smack him in here. Oh, <laughs> Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm just feeling uh, jiggly, uh, jaggly right now. Or, uh, or uh, I'm a little bit uh, singy. Um, yeah, one more thing. Um, uh, we should, uh, no, not colonize this one, but more like terraform this. Be a waste. We got a lot of uh, stuff here. Uh, we got a lot of. Uh, the terraform this so it would be suitable for habitation. Okay, we'll just keep this one. Um, oh, uh, speaking of which, can we terraform this? Okay, well, uh, okay, um, yeah, okay, understood. We can't really terraform it. So we'll just go two industrial areas here and uh, yeah we got a forge world um, we want to elevate oh we still need 14,000 um, okay well fine with me um, 19 months okay that's not that far that's not that uh, really far um, 25! It'll be a waste if we don't terraform this. So let's terraform that. Um, same goes with this. Uh, terraform it because it's not... Uh, too well, we can terraform this. And we don't have any more um, cash to uh, terraform. Alpine world, uh, we got an ocean world. I think we got uh, natural beauty. I think we could set this one up for the Furbanite immigrants. 
Now the UNS is being very generous now on the Xeno uh, Xeno population. Uh, maybe in due time we could grant them a uh, residency. But for now, <coughs> they are still uh, under endangered servitude. Uh huh, the first fleet seems to be uh. Oh my, they're really building a huge fleet here. Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna be a whole battle! Alright, uh, I could use a good battle here, so they're gonna go for a counter attack. Okay, let's uh. look forward with this. <laughs> Construction complete. Right. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Uh huh. Not sure if we're gonna. Let's see for the enemy fleet movement here. They're definitely headed for these guys. Um. Okay, uh, right. Uh. Okay, uh, yeah, let's continue on. Uh, I'd like to see. Probably have to pull back just for a safe measure until our reinforcements have arrived. This one should go way back here, Isperia or something here. What the hell? Where, where are they? I'm pretty sure they're here. Well, they're not battling the fortress. Huh. Alright, uh, they suddenly disappeared. I'm not sure if that's part of a glitch or something. Or... It's possible they might even transit it here. So we lost contact sensors. They're probably having a strike here. In this area. Fleet action underway. Yeah, well, we probably have to build some defenses if that's the case. We don't know. Uh, they missed on our, uh, our fleet here. Uh, just... You know, intelligence, they just lost the, uh, where the fleet is going, so, uh, not sure if that is an error or glitch. So for now, okay, let's fight this, uh, yeah, time to fight this amoeba. So we just killed those amoebas right now, so uh, we're doing good. Oh, that's a nice footage. Okay, uh, there we go. We got a lot of footage, good footage right now. And uh, we could study this uh, tree of life. Let me check the uh, demographics here. Uh, we don't got permanent happiness, so uh, but we do got a pop speed of 40%, like never before. So that's a very big thing. Um, yeah, we got nutritional plenty to activate it, so uh, we're good with that. So we're just, uh, you know, a population boom. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Honestly, I'm pretty concerned. The fleet here uh, went missing. The 15,000. 
uh, there's possibility that they, but uh, if they went here, our services could detect them. The only solution is they might went here in the Uri remnants. But uh, that's why we're do building this. We, we're not sure if. Wait, why the? Okay, there was a mistake here. Uh, this should not be a shipyard. Um, this is my mistake. This is supposed to be a defensive uh, wall against the Uri remnant here. So I kind of overlooked that part. Uh, anyway. Yeah, the only explanation here is that they went to the Uri remnant. And uh, you can see they went back here. And they're building a huge strength. Now they're now 16,000. We uh, probably have to go one big swoop here. Yep, they're at it again. For one, uh, I have no reason. Uh, they suddenly went here and then you know, disappeared. So they're pretty strong right now, 16,000. So, uh, I want to check how large is this fleet. Yeah, they're amassing their big defenses. From the looks of it, they already have uh, cruisers. And we're still uh, stuck figuring out the corvettes here. We have a frigate, so they made the. Uh, they deployed their cruisers here much er uh, earlier in the war, so uh, yeah, to counter the UNS threat. So uh, it's gonna be a very big fight. Well, uh, the UNS still has numerical superiority, so uh, oh, goody goody. So we got now, um, alright, uh, I don't know, we gotta sell this one. Uh, right. Arid world. Yeah, we're okay with an arid world. Fortress initiative. Oh, since we got some extra cash, I guess we need to um, make you a bigger fleet. But they're kind of costly nowadays. They cost around 2,500. And I, um... Uh, 2007, that's 3,000. Uh, see, you got a lot of crystals anyway. Um, yeah, 2,750. Uh, are we negative on, um, we're not, so, uh, we can sell a few moats. Just to, uh, oh, come on. Okay, how about a little gas? Uh, right, uh, wait, I'll go sell some stuff here. What? Why 2,900? Oh, cash. Okay, um, okay, well, I have a lots of food here, um, oh, jeez. Uh, it's really difficult funding your own private army here. It's a deal. Goodbye. So they got 19,000, 20,000? Oh, they got uh, rented. Who rent you? Oh, no, they're not. Uh, okay, that's okay. Alright, we gotta have a big battle here. Construction complete. Where is... Oh, Yidra Station. Yeah, uh, we're gonna construct this, this one. Um, yeah, and then, uh, well, we'll get back to you on the base defenses. <laughs> yeah, we'll rendezvous here, uh, see how our bow here, uh, they got a very huge fleet here, which is 16,000. Uh, yeah, we kind of need that large fleet right now. What's this? Uh, okay, um, wait, 
I'm pretty sure I sent this one. Oh, the debris first. Okay. Sure thing. Um, Recon sent... task completed. Um, what task? Oh, Poter. So there's nothing unusual in Poter area. Okay. Uh, no, that's a. Uh, that's good. Um, right, I got new a new uh, uh, arid world, but unfortunately, there's a mega structure here, a Dyson sphere. So this is not gonna be a thing here. Um, I think right now the main uh, area here is. Um, I think we should construct. Uh, uh, we're just gonna be uh, defenseless in the southern borders, but uh, this one we'll probably have to. All right, okay, fine. I like the alloys. Um, gotta boost that little thing. And why is this doing nothing? Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, so we got a biggie here. As in biggie. Alright, they're attacking now, which is good. Yeah, um, it's a deal. Goodbye. Um uh, battle debris secured. Okay, okay uh, later. Battle debris secured. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we got the um Oh, what's this? The relic ship. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Um Right, it's going to be the nastiest clash. Support lost to enemy action. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's uh really unavoidable anyway. So our largest contingent now is fighting this guys. They will just have to wait to um So this is uh 2312 2319 so it's around 5 years now in the war and uh yeah we we're, we're setting up on the slowest right now uh so that I could catch up with the time. And for some reason um Science ship Calvin here. Okay, uh, they're paying our dividend. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, we've already fixed the gateway travel. Um, ion disruptors would be nice. I'll go for weapons de development right now. We have to be uh, in a little bit of a rush here. Okay, uh, we got the whole uh, enchilada here. About time we battle this guy. Construction complete. Yeah, well, currently the uh, UNS has numerical superiority. And they've deployed their cruisers, so uh see how this thing goes. Also, I'd like to check the factions here. Um 13%. Uh God, what's happening with this guys? We're promoting them, but they're not taking up space. Uh stop promoting this faction, yeah. I think they are already taking up a huge uh, stuff here, so uh... <laughs> Okay oh. Ah, uh, what's this? Oh, we got already now the cruisers Courtesy of our uh, friendly uh... 
uh, friendly uh, what do you call this? Uh, friendly mercenaries. I think we could buy a new one. Oh, okay, right. Uh, I'm okay. We're good with that. New Singapore here is still special project complete. Okay, uh, we have thing. We could give it to our leaders. After rigorous research, we now understand why the tree sap summoned these those creatures. The tree is able to produce a highly nutritious substance which has machine-like abilities to repair organic tissue. The tree is a tree of life. If we harvested it, we could use to expand our lifespan of our people. <coughs> but there is one problem. The tree's healing power is limited in amount. We could only use it to improve a small group of people's like, life substantially. Or increase everyone's situation by a small amount. Well, we do have some tech, uh, late tech here that improves leadership lifespan. So I, I'll uh, rather uh, give it to uh, the biological pops so that we can have some happiness here. It's a permanent boost to our happiness, if I recall correct. Um, unfortunately, I don't. Wait, I'm pretty sure I selected the. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've selected the... Oh, maybe it will reflect by a month. Yeah, I know sometimes uh, Stellaris uh, doesn't reflect. Let me check. Oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, the largest contingent battle we had in years. Battling now with the... Uh, with the uh, Scanuri, uh, uh, I am with Fal, sorry. Okay, okay did we just beat him? Yeah, I think we did. Or... That was an anticlimactic. I was expecting it to be a big battle. Well... Yeah, they did escape actually. They just only lost one. Okay, let's move this one in Caesar. Ah, uh, they're not bulging. Ah, Jesus, why? And uh, we, we need to fight the Sidran or something. Well, anyway, we already got uh, an activation here, if I recall correct. Um, uh, what's this? Yeah, uh, I think we should have a gateway. We're now activating the Black Crown, but we still need some cash. Like uh, 36,000. Um, we're currently low on that. And uh, New Singapore is not uh, operational yet. Until 1,300 uh, days or something. Okay, uh huh. Do 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 do. Right, uh, we should go here. Mm 
Yeah. Can we open our board? Well, it's actually open, but they can, uh, they're just... Yeah, they don't open their own borders because they're uh, a fanatic purifiers. I, well, well, they did establish a hyper relay. Ah, Midfall Kingdom is also... Oh, okay. Science uh. Division report success. Okay, we got now a Star Fortress, so uh, how about Exotic Ash Refineries or Mega Logan? Uh, we already got a surplus of minerals, so uh, we'll go with the cruisers. <laughs> okay, we would like to donate. It gives us uh, 50 influence points. So this is enough to uh, have us um, Oh, okay, I uh, have lacked this one Understood um, I think I've uh, Hydra will be ahead Oh, they're already building Wait, um... Wait, um... I think we're gonna do this one, uh, cut what you're doing and uh, build... Uh, a station here. Um... Yeah, this one. I think this one. This would be a nice uh, addition. Okay, so uh, we're uh, going to shift this one to a fortress. Um, give us a moment. Uh, we lack 1,030. Okay, uh, pretty much understandable. Okay, um... See if they're gonna run. Oh, I got some lot of good footage right now. There's a huge uh, battle right now going on, so we'll just keep it like this. Alright. <laughs> Ow, oh, jeez. Why is this a little bit dumber than I expected? What a total dumb... The AI is gonna be dumb. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy with that, that the AI got dumb. So, uh, we haven't changed the, uh, you know. What was this? A Cydron Manifold. Oh, okay, they managed to, uh, 
Okay, they're attacking now some space here. Okay, uh, they're now launching or outflanking you with this. Very sneaky move, actually. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Couldn't get on the Furbanite, so they launch a counterattack on the south. As long as we have this control, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Unfortunately, our forces are not that uh, good right now. I guess this is a typical tactic of the computer here. They always have a nasty complete. things to outflank. Them. <laughs> So we got New Japan, New Africa. So it's gonna be a storage facility. Um, one he. So from the governor from Asiatica. Um, we'll just recruit a new guy here, Giovanni Russo. Oh, Giovanna. Ah. Great, I guess that really ruined it, uh, one month. Uh, I'm not sure what will be available, uh, genetic, uh, oh, it's almost, uh, time here. So I better save this one on my OBS. So this will be UNS episode, uh, 07. Uh, letter B. There we go. And let's save this one on our OBS. Just as a, uh, you know, just an assurance. Well, it's already uh, saved on our OBS, so let's continue on with our gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, I have a runny nose right now. I do apologize. It's just my allergies right now. Okay, we got now the tradition. So we're completing now the subterfuge. Uh, shadow recruits. Um, okay, here's the thing. I don't know what uh, we should be next. Our ecology project is nice. Uh, it will build our industrial... Uh, But, here's the thing, um, yeah, I guess we could build this one, uh, Galactic Wonders, I could go for Defender of the Galaxy right now, because we need this one against, uh, Crisis, it's more uh, important. For now, I'll go for the Crisis, Defender of the Galaxy. This is very uh, important because um, in case uh, it's already 2320 and we don't want to make any chances. Uh, it, I, uh, my Crisis here is set to random, so I don't know if it will be a Prethrid Swarm, the Unbiden, or the Contingency, but it is still a Crisis and uh, I set it to 25x, I guess. Uh, I know I said it a bit high, but uh, I have no idea how. Um, I'll go for open borders. Uh, establish an embassy just to be good with this. And offer non aggression pack. Yeah, that's. Uh, Okay, so they're just a single one-time nation here in the middle of a swarm. Okay, uh, at the moment, the uh, computer here is launching a counter-offensive. Uh, probably the strongest uh, out. Uh, finishing some task here. 
the rest of the uh, fleet is um, uh, uh, you know going to intercept this one. Ah, <sighs> debris. Okay, I'm just gonna have to hire these guys. Um, no, 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 no. The um, the salvager enclave. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, goodbye. Science division reports an okay, in breakthrough. Disruptor. Uh, we'll go get this one. Shield capacitors. Um, genetic modification would be nice. But right now, we need an embassy just to represent the UNS to the whole galactic community of Fornax. Commonwealth of Rikikiti. Oh? Well, what do you know? They got the 39,000 fleet. Seriously? They're even stronger than our... Uh, oh, no, no. It's a fortress initiative fleet. Okay, my, my marks, to be honest. Okay, they're kind of rich, I guess, so they hired it on their border patrols. Oh my, um, okay, so, um, I'm now on my lower 20%. Uh, what do we got here? Leader Feng Ling Fahrenheit died, um, we just hired this one. So once we've developed this one, a science world, we could just uh, assign a scientist here just to boost up the science uh, on that place. Okay, New Indonesia, what do we got? Um, we need to lower the crime, but the crime is a bit lower now. Um, okay, uh, a Tokyon woman will be nice. And we'll build this. Uh, we're currently low on food, so uh, we'll build at least two. So yeah. Um, New Indonesia could be... Um, yeah, it's okay, it's an industrial world. Uh, we've already got... The, uh, fortress worlds here that is designated as a fortress and trade world. What's this? Um, courier barges arrive from the conglomerate thinkers carrying various blueprints and small consignment of resources. All were reclaimed from the debris salvage. The pilot desires for Clil rather than to express polite thanks to our Custom. The handover was treated with a great salty. Uh, sympathetic fools, hail them. We may, we have more debris that they could handle. Mm, for now, we just do one. We we'll, we'll try to be reasonable. <laughs> Goodbye. What the hell? Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, this is now the Siren uh, Sidran fleet. Yeah, Sidram. Sidram or Sidran? Sorry. Sidran. Yeah, they they sound more like Cylon from Battle Battlestar Galactica, but uh, we'll keep it there. <laughs> I think we could make some claims here, if I recall. Yeah, okay, so we need this whole area. Well, unfortunately, the thing that water that complicates this is because that there are uh, they're currently uh, you know a vassal state. But if they're not a vassal state, it wouldn't be. 
You know, the white could have been a, a bit different. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, so we're just gonna launch an invasion here. Okay, so I hope the computer is not that as dumb as it looks right now. What? Uh, they're kind of repeating. They, they're just here and then they... Oh! Aha! Uh -huh, 22 and 28. Wow! Uh, that is really something here. Construction complete. Yeah, that is really something. I think I'm gonna buy uh just give me a moment here. Uh, I think I have to buy some alloys I guess. I got the eight thousand sixteen thousand fleet. They really know how to uh uh you know call reinforcements right now. Quite powerful, and this is just only end scene difficulty. Okay, it's a deal. Goodbye. They're kind of busy with that. Uh huh. Where is this located, by the way? Caesar. Yeah, um. Where's our lazy science ship here? I think you can make it this. Yeah, it's a long uh construction complete. Okay, uh right. Well, I guess we got some challenging AIs here because they're very powerful right now. And yet, they just hang out here on their borders. Okay, uh, Kaleno. God, got a pirate situation again with Kaleno. Probably have to, uh. Skywatch has sighted a spaceborne life form. Yeah, of course. Piracy, uh, is attacking at an all time high. Sorry, my bad, I'm bad. Yeah, okay. Piracy is an all time high. Okay, uh, right. It's, uh, no, uh, I think we're okay with that. Okay, goodbye. Oh. Okay, piracy now is, uh... Okay, I guess that's enough footage. So the battle is evenly matched. Um, okay. Let me take a look at uh, the demograph. We don't have positive 5 happiness for some reason. 
I'll uh, just to check my factions here. Okay, um, time to. Uh... Oh, okay, we don't have uh, twenty percent. Okay, that's a little bit of. Uh... Okay, we've already. Uh... Okay, uh, that's good. Um, I'll just sell. It. Oh wait. Uh, we got a lot of, uh, why sell it when we can just convert it here? Um, I think we got some, um... Oh, we're still uh, researching this. Uh, this one. Um, well, we could go for a Dreadnought, I guess. The Europa will probably be... Uh, a Dread... Okay, new Norway, we have to, uh... Okay, this one, this one, and, uh, this one. Uh-huh, oh, what do we got here? Number of pops, okay, we still need, uh... I'll probably go uh, build a new Ecomonopolis in some worlds here. Crystal mines and how about gas? Oh, no gas. Yeah, I'll go for extraction wells. Um, okay, it's an angry world, um, but... <clears throat> Okay, I'll just build this one. Um, <coughs> well, since this is a Gaia world, uh, how about uh, yeah, food? I guess. Wait. Um, I'll have one. Uh, this one. Okay, um, we need Mongolia. We don't have a leader right now. Um, <laughs> Claudia Becker will be nice. So, New Mongolia is a colony. Um, we could just build this one and then. Um, um, Precinct House. Uh, I'm still figuring out uh, what to do with New Mongolia. I could put them into a Commonopolis world. Which uh, would be a good strategy gameplay wise. But uh, we need to tech crush or something. Liang Zuge is the new uh, free admiralty. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Shield capacitor. Um, I think we'll go with this one. Black hole sensors or something. Okay, uh, we'll just, uh, this is a very big battle, uh, security echelon. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure how am I gonna defeat that, but we need to smack them. Skywatch is tracking a new enemy fleet. Yeah, uh, okay. What the hell? Construction complete. Oh, jeez. How the hell did they do that? Six point eight. 
most of my fleets are stationed. Um, oh god. Okay, um, probably have to intercept them here. Okay, uh, let's set the uh, thing here. They could go here, but uh, this one's heavily defended. Uh, good luck with them. So their only choice is here. However, <clears throat> I have no idea how, where did they come from. I mean, did they just went here and navigate their way up here? They, well, certainly they didn't went up north, so uh, they're trying to uh, outflank me, I guess. Okay, so uh, just give me a second here. Okay, uh, there we go. Yeah, I just had to get something. <coughs> oh, great. Construction complete. <laughs> Okay, so I guess our base defense is in Yidra, system is okay, but, so we'll definitely have a lot stronger enemies right now, I mean at least from this point, as expected the uh, Free Admiralty Pirates are attacking, um, Uh -huh. Military station lost. Enemy action. Yeah, yeah. I guess this is the pirates' uh, work. Uh, let me take a look at my um um fleets here. Yeah, almost all of my fleets are already busy, so, uh... Oh, great. Oh! The racket died. Okay, bad for him. I didn't know how, uh... Well, he got an automated assistant, so, uh... Yeah, we'll recruit Ramon Ferdorova. Meanwhile, New Singapore will probably be, um, hopefully by a uh, display session, so that we can boost up our, uh, you know, our alloy production. Uh, okay, at least the war is uh, exhaustion. Our uh, status quo has already been. Okay, are we ready? Uh, yes, I guess. So let's battle this one. Uh, 
very large fleet. They already have uh, cruisers, I guess. Um, they were still just copying those uh, cruisers. For now, the only thing we could do is at least uh, focus crystals, uh, weapon damage and energy, crystalline, multi-reactive armor, explosive ammunition, fuel, and shields. Will cost us a little bit negative, but science division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, of course. Okay, we got some cruisers now. Um, we should go for a battleship. As much as possible, we want a battleship already in operation at this uh, point in the war. Taking evasive action. This is one of action. the longest war. It's now at least uh, uh, you know, nine years now. And uh station reports enemy contact. Okay. And we got two large fleets here. Oh, I think we should uh wait for the reinforcements unfortunately. They're being attacked by what? Oh. Jesus. As usual, uh... Sovereign Sir Fem has declared. Mining station lost to enemy action. Yeah, which one? Alright, the battle has begun. Ah, great. Alright, so the UNS fleet here right now is in a bad shape right now okay I know this is not gonna turn out well but we can at least poke them in the eye oh. and they got overrun I guess I guess we got one in general killed with that. Yeah. Ah, General Biggs. Ah. Uh, right. Yeah, of course, our uh, fleets got whack, so uh, one by one, they're starting to uh, the regular fleet should be put up here as a defense. Yeah, we're gonna rent there, it's a deal. Goodbye. Um, okay, we're gonna with the damn uh, mercenaries so we've already uh, sent four cruisers to intercept this piracy activity however um, 
Yeah, they could just catch this one. Oh my god, it's now 47. Okay. Science division report success. Well, uh. Okay, we already got that. Uh. We probably have fleet supremacy right now. And uh, this one, we'll just have to build our uh, embassy. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's almost time. It's uh, almost 30 minutes, so we're going to save this one. And we're going to go for the final 30 minutes of the uh, recorded Let's Play. So there we go. Uh, let us see. And I'm just gonna save this one on the OBS as usual. Hello and uh, welcome back. So uh, we're going on now for our last 30 minutes and I'm having a bad allergy right now. So I'm just gonna finish this 30 minutes and then uh, I probably have to take a rest. So uh, anyway, let's continue. So I do apologize if you hear me sometimes, uh, you know, having a runny nose. You know, uh, allergies isn't exactly uh, an easy thing to deal with, um, especially at uh, around my age. Uh, right. So the Sidran, uh, the Sidran is making a big comeback here. They're reclaiming every area that is. Um, and we're suffering a lot of war exhaustion here right now. Status quo is negative 36. So uh, anyway, I'm already... Uh, All sword ground elements are dropping on target. Okay. Well, will uh, try to capture this tomb world. So uh, this isn't exactly much of a contest because uh, this one is... Just 51. 1, 4, 2, 6. Um... Yeah. Anyway, the difficulty if uh, for everybody's uh you know for everybody's information is insane. So probably on my next playthrough, I'll probably increase it just a little bit. I think I uh kind of overdid it uh, with this one. I mean, I overdid it on my last one, and now I overdid it again. But uh, I think the enemy here has a little more challenge, as you can see. They have already 21, 27 strength fleet while I still have 13,000. So I guess the uh, AI here is uh, improving. So yeah. Um, great. Um, Commonwealth of Pikikiti. Even the Commonwealth of the Pikikiti here. Well, they actually have 40,000. But uh, okay. Um, I'm really bursting with minerals right now. <laughs> so I'll probably have to divert some of the resources here. Um, well, we got a lot of... Uh, Mesopotamia is more like an equal thing, so I'll just add with this one. So it's a factory world, so I get... And one of these, New Norway is. Which New Norway is a candidate for any monopolist, but uh, I don't know. Uh, probably I'll go for uh, automation here. Uh, planet automation settings. Um, I guess uh, crime. Probably go with crime, specifically on crime. So yeah. Uh, so there's no on and off. Click to turn off. Okay, I'll just ah uh, okay. You're right. You click on with the hand with the. Uh, but honestly, sometimes automation here does not work very well in Stellaris, so they still have to, uh, uh, what do you call this? 
uh, you have to manually check every now and then. It may or may not be, uh, you know. So uh, now the automation is automatically switched on. Uh, one more thing. Um, since that will be a case, um, wait, uh, we got the planet sectors here. Um, probably go just balance. Yeah, we'll just put it balance. So we we're going to donate uh, five thousand here. Oh wait, sorry, sorry. Um, I think it was control it to be one thousand. Okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, we'll have this one five thousand. Yeah, we'll just use it for automation. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, jeez. Can we get it back? Let's only add some. S uh. Okay, I'll do. Ah, we got a high crime rate here. Jeez. Um. I'll just go for a crime rate. Not prevent deficit, but uh. Probably uh, crime rate and pop assembly. That's the thing that uh, should be uh, focused on this one. I'll handle the rest. Uh, and uh, oh god, how many plants am I managing right now? Switch off, switch on. Okay, um, this one as well. Um, I think we've already set new Norway, right? If I'm correct. Yeah, pop assembly. We need the pops. I see in, you know, big pops. Oh, uh, right. Okay, um, okay, it's automated. Um, New Greenland. Uh, okay, that'll do. Uh, two of these, and then one of these. Although we can't terraform this because it's already occupied yet. So yeah. Uh, Honestly, it's really hard to trust the automation here. Sometimes the computer does things that I'm not really happy with. Oh, jeez. Uh, that new green link. Uh, this one. Okay, so uh, new Brazil, new Singapore. Uh, Okay, uh, we got to restore a few jobs here, and uh, planet automation should be um, the only thing that should be automated for a planet, uh, so that we it doesn't matter with my style. It would be the pop assembly and crime, but that I'm not exactly sure if the computer would be carry out those on my idea, because most of the time the computer has a nasty habit of sabotaging my, uh, you know, my gameplay. I've already saw that on my uh, last previous gameplay, and I'm not very much uh, that comfortable with automation. Despite, uh, you know, most of the uh, folks or uh, our devs try to, um, what do you call this, encourage the automation, I'm not exactly convinced with it because, uh, you know, um, the, sometimes it, the AI just simply sabotages me and uh, not really happy about that okay anyway I've already got things recorded here that's why I'm recording my gameplay so uh, you know I couldn't just say that uh, the computer is sabotaging me for no apparent reason, so I got to have some at least some evidence. So yeah.
Okay, New Australia. Um, yeah, I like this one. I have no idea we built this. Huh. It's supposed to be a mining something, but uh, like mining purification plants and uh, the like and things. Uh, yeah, that's a problem with uh, automation. Okay, rare resources because I want this one to be a refinery world as well. In Mongolia, um, amenities, setting job priority. Uh, now I'd rather have it uh, manually. So let's see if this is gonna work or not. So the rest of us still building up some colonies here. God, we can't really stop this. It's a big side drive fleet and they're gonna overtake every guy here. I think it's best we uh get overrun here by some guys Sizer and Fleet here is making a comeback which is not very good Hey where's my f um, I thought I've already rent the fleet Oh okay it's already renting our fleet that's nice I mean, I wasn't uh, supposed to. <coughs> I mean, I, I well, by the time I wasn't renting it, uh, or nobody rents the fleet. Now that I want the fleet, uh, we just simply can't, uh, you know, give it because somebody is renting the. New world has been secured for our colonists. What's this? Oh. Oh well, they're now level three. Well, expansion permitted, uh, independent. You kind of like us at some extent. Trade negotiation, or uh, I think terms negotiation. Hey, um, okay, they don't like us getting a little bit of, fortunately. Well, we're working with us, it's plus five. So, uh,. New Japan is... Huh. Okay, well, well, the first building I always build is Stronghold. Which I guess has a defense. Uh, but this is just an 8, so it's either will be designed as designated to be either a refinery or science. Um... I think I'll discover this one as a refinery first, uh, or tech world, because uh, tech world will be reserved for two worlds, I guess. Okay, we got a whole our fleet. Uh, we got that whole fleet being. Uh, Wait, where's the raiding fleet? Oh, what the hell? How did? Sorry, um... Okay, uh, we're just gonna get this guy. Got 3.6. Got no idea. Wait, 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 just give me a moment here. Okay, uh, we'll just give it a little bit of, uh... I like the camera angle and how the way they uh So I got a lot of videos here. I'll probably have to post this one on YouTube for so shorts. <laughs> I 
Okay, so that's okay for now. Um, okay, so uh, for the moment, here's the thing, the Sidrans is... Uh, yeah, they sounded like Cylon from, you know, Battlestar Galactica. Construction complete. Yeah, the midfell wouldn't really bulge. It's still the negative 34. And now uh, we're already on our 10 years war with this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, fine. They're paying us, uh... Science. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, some space sensors, um... <coughs> yeah, I think we could go for research output. Maybe I'll try next time a uh, Grand Admiral or something. And then we put it on a small this size uh, galaxy. Let's see what happens on that. I think it's gonna be a messy fight if that opens it. Case. Uh huh. Right. Uh, What's this? Uh, okay, um, yeah, they're right in the middle here. Unfortunately, we're still getting a pro uh, our ships here. Right, so our uh, fourth and fifth fleet are on the chase with this one. <coughs> Had been enough to give uh, pause to their warriors after considering their options. Uh, the parry have apparently decided to abandon their raid and withdraw back to their own space. Yeah, probably they bit off more than they can chew. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when they messed up with this. Yeah, they just said call it a day because uh, not worth the crap. So, uh, in other words, they, uh, they don't find us an easy target. Oh. Alright, so they separated their two forces here. Um, Fall King has launched their council to declare the borderless authority. Uh, what's a borderless authority? Honestly, what's a borderless authority? Subjects have 50% ethics attraction towards their overlords fanatic ethics. Independent sensors is no longer valid as a term in agreements between galactic communities, so everything should be shared sensors. <laughs> Holdings Limit 4 is no longer valid as a term in agreements for overlord galactic community members. Maximum Holdings is plus 1. I have no idea what this. I'll rather go for an opponent. Yeah, that should put leverage. So, uh, the good thing about democracy is, if you got a lot of kingdoms, their still vote is one. It's either a system, if it's just only a system subject, it's just only, uh, how's this? Well, we could terraform this one. Okay, goody goody. Oh. All right. We'll see how they get uh whacked. Okay. Uh, I want a good uh. Yeah, let's see how the pirates get crushed in this one. Oh. I guess my computer is starting to uh, 
have some sort of uh, lag now. So they're running away as usual and I'm going to smack them. Okay, I guess that's a good footage now. A uh, good 60 seconds. Um, for now... Oh, jeez. Oh, great. This is not gonna... This is, this is going to be very good right now. Okay, I guess we have no choice but to engage. Uh, it's not gonna be good. We're currently on the offensive. The sirens are taking... Uh, Science Division report success. The third fleet. Great, this is more like an embarrassing uh, victory right now. We're being pushed back by the sirens. Yeah, we'll go for Deep Space Black site. Uh, so I'm still uh, negative on the exotic gases, so I will just buy them from the market, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll go for private collection. Um, Okay, that proclaimed superiority could be good in uh, buying uh, influence points wholesale. Um, yeah, we'll buy gas. God, this is not good. It's going good right now. We only got 22s. Uh, I think we could stand a chance with this one. But without these one help, we got to find out. Oh, we got more targets here. Yeah, I guess this is one we should concentrate our forces with this. I think that's the good tactic around here. Rather than attack, we're not we're not gonna dent anything if we separate our forces. We just have to, you know, uh, two fleets over one or two battle groups for the price of one. So yeah, um, that would be a good attack here, rather than proceed here. After all, the, the Sidon's forces are separated, so uh... Okay, uh... Right, um... What do we got? See, I'm not sure if, this, if the automation is even working at all from the looks of it. I told it specifically pop assembly in this one. Okay, I'll add in, I'll throw in uh this one for a change uh, let me check 20 months I'll rather go for an ascension perk <laughs> rather than uh, uh, probably go for an ecomonopolist uh, we need the ecomonopolist unfortunately every single one of them oh wait 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 um, New Japan is a refinery world right? Uh, refinery storage world. I'll probably shift this one. Yeah, uh, refinery silo world, I guess. For now, I'm just gonna sell this one. Don't have any choice anyway. Alright! They kinda know, uh, the tracking space -born life form. Or, uh, the Sidrons. Yeah, of course, they got to. We're gonna corner them. You meet up here, smack them in the middle. They're, they're, they don't have uh, anything to go for anyway. Okay. Right, we're gonna smack this guy. Uh huh. Okay, let's see if how this will fare with this little teddy bear. It's a good thing that they divided their forces. 
Um, yeah, I probably go to uh, Ecumenopolis. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and no side is bulging from the looks of it. Alright, let's see how this works. So, we're fighting a large Sidron fleet here. Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's go. Do a little bit of this, yeah. Oh great, I have no idea why I... Yeah, okay, I guess that's the point. We can zoom in on a little bit closer because it will definitely, uh, you know, cause my computer to lag. I got a lot of uh, good scenes here. Okay, I guess that's enough. Okay, we're doing good. We're smacking that uh, side on fleet here. Alright, we defeated that guy. And, and that fleet to be specific so it's about time we smack this guy um, yeah this one's a full-fledged uh, fleet so uh, yeah I'll probably have this or something uh, we got 13,000 uh, minerals so uh, see how many uh, more fleets could we reinforce here particularly this one yeah I think I'll go for any monopolis because we need that to uh, you know um, we need that to counter the uh, uh, the crisis. Uh, uh, this one's small. This one's very small. Uh, So Fana World is 13, this one is 22, so we could just Alpine World, uh, yeah, we could terraform this, but we don't have one. Now uh, we could send, I guess, a machine here to terraform it to an Ecomonopolis, the uh, machine type. Um... Uh, what should we think about this one? Um, right. Uh, we got someone in Europe, so uh, how about new uh, New Italia? Because there's an Alps, and this is an Alpine. New Italy. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, yeah, okay, I made a mistake. I should have been, uh, should have been humans, but, uh, okay, uh, it's just some errors, I guess. Uh, Zydron Manifold, uh, small fleets are making a counter attack. 
uh, right. A new world has been secured for our colonists. Okay, um, this is gonna be a science, uh, science tech world. Um, they got dense to world. Uh, Construction complete. Okay, uh, we'll just go get this one as. Uh, yeah, we'll probably. Uh, yeah, or we could add it a tech world and a storage world at the same time. Uh, Reikio Station. Um, okay. We need all the shipyards we could. Uh, Fleet Academy would be nice. Yeah. I guess we need that in case the crisis comes with uh, 2250. And it says only 2025 20, years. And I'm not sure how strong the crisis will... Uh, Oh god, what happened here? Okay, it's uh, almost uh, 30 minutes now. So I'm just gonna save this one. This will be the end of our uh, recorded Let's Play session for now. So this will be UNS episode 07D. So thank you for watching everyone and see you again on our next recorded Let's Play session. So bye bye for now. See ya! Um, okay, just give me a moment here.